Hey guys, I'm Pencil Pies, and today we are going to be drawing and chatting about anything and everything. I am drawing today for um, my AP drawing class at school. It's such a good class. I draw a lot as expected, but yeah, I hope you guys have a fun time watching and enjoy. But yeah, it's a good class. I have a lot of fun in it. Um, I do a lot of art. So much art. It's crazy. Anyway, so yeah, I'm just drawing it in. If I race a lot, that's fine. Because I'm indecisive as heck. Hopefully YouTube is okay with my use of that word. If not... What in the world are you? Okay. Anyway, so, as you can see, I'm just drawing it in and blah, 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 all that good stuff. There's a little man in there. I've always been told to, um, with my art, I've always been told to think outside the box. Well, this guy is literally crawling out of a box. Can't get more creative than that, can I? Just kidding, I took that way too literally, but you know what? It's okay. I'm taking the request and I'm running with it. Also, I can't really see what I'm doing right now because I'm not wearing my glasses. But, yeah, I think it's okay. But also, like, this picture does not photograph well for some reason. Like, in real life, with my real with my real life eyes, with the help of glasses, of course, because I'm blind as a bat. Um, it just looks so much better in real life. So, like, you might look at this and think it's some kind of garbage that a second grader drew. And it's not. I think, at least. Well, a second grader didn't draw it. A 17-year-old did. But, I don't think it's that bad in real life. I think it's actually pretty good. So we're just drawing. Well, I'm drawing. You're just sitting here. Actually, go grab your sketchbook. Go grab a pencil. Draw with me. Doodle. Like, get, go get your Walmart receipt and draw on the back of that. That's fun, too. Or, you know, just draw on... What else could you draw on? A wall? Don't draw on a wall. That's not... Your parents would not be happy. Or if you don't live with your parents anymore and you're a thriving adult in society just don't draw on your walls that's you you have to clean it up so don't do that but um yeah what what will we talk about music do you guys like music i love music i like alternative i like k-pop i like rock music i like sad music sad music is amazing like okay so there's this band or group or guy i don't really know but there's this artist um called sleeping at last and like their music is so good like if you're in the mood from like for like some poetic sad music i highly recommend it like um they they wrote a song for everyone of the planets and the sun and the moon. I just think it's such a great, like, um, piece of work. Like, um, sorry if I'm saying like an um a lot. I've just realized that. But, hi, I'm from California. We say like a lot. And I just stutter, so I try, I try not to stutter. But that ends up with me saying um a whole lot. So I apologize. 
If that gets annoying, well, that's unfortunate for you, I guess. And also, I have a lisp, so, like, if that gets annoying, then, um, there's a little red X in the upper right-hand corner of your screen. You can click that, or maybe even go watch another one of my videos where I don't speak at all, because I have quite a few of those. Anyways, back to music. Um, yeah, they have a song for every one of the plants in the solar system. They have, um, music not music well yeah music but they have songs for every like type of the on the enneagram test quiz survey whatever it is it's like where you find out what personality type you are and my favorite one from that is two and it's so accurate honestly because i yeah i've taken it before and i said i was a two which sometimes i don't agree with but like other times i'm like hm, yep i got some me but, um, it's just so spot on. It's just like it hits you right in your feelings. And it's just, it's incredible music. Oh, and from the planet ones, um, even though Pluto isn't really a planet, even though the commissioner of NASA said it was, Pluto is my favorite song from that album. It's so good. Also, on the topic of music... I absolutely hate it with every cell in my body, which is quite a few. It's at least seven. With every cell in my body, I can't stand it when radio stations overplay songs just just because. Like I swear, if I hear Sucker by the Jonas Brothers one more time, I'm going to cry. And I don't cry very much. I cry very rarely and on very particular occasions. Like, I can't... Please. Like, the radio station I listen to every day um, plays the same song at the exact same time on my way to school, on my way from school, and on my way anywhere else. Like, I swear, if I hear Truth Hurts by Lizzo one more time, like, I don't even know what I'm gonna do. I'll probably cry as well. It's a great song cool it was great the first 13,000 times but I just can't do it again like I'm probably just gonna have to drive in silence because that's the only thing that makes me happy now is silence I'm just kidding I love music so much but please radio stations I can't even though I play the same four songs all day every day I just can't the f same four songs are all from the, the same four songs I've been listening to recently have all been from the Feel Special album by Twice. It's such a good album. It's just it's very you, like you can tell the girls really put a lot of work and like emotion into that. It's just so good. Like my favorite songs from that album are probably well the title track, tr um, Trick It and La Foolish. Those are all actually. All the songs around on the album are all so good. Like, well, I don't know why they put the Korean version of Breakthrough on it, but we'll just have to get past that, I guess. But yeah, every single song is just, mm, just like, so good. But, um, recently, like the other day, I found out that I started my YouTube channel the same day Twice debuted. That's wild, like, October 20th, 2015, that's the day, and on Sunday, my my channel and Twice will both be four years old. Fantastic. So, you may, you may, I'm getting texts right now, what do you want, people? Okay. But, um... What was I even talking about? I don't know. This video is a whole mess. I don't have a script or anything. This is the first time I'm going scriptless. Like that's not, that's a that's not a word, but you. Anyway, but um, yeah, this is the first time I'm going without a script in a while. So we'll just have to see how that goes. Also, it, if you hear vehicles or the wind outside, um, just like ignore that. It's not important. It's just my neighbors and nature. 
Also, you may, be, you may notice that I am on my floor while I'm drawing. What about it? Just let me, let me breathe. Just like get off my back. No, like in all honesty, I, I just really like drawing on my floor. Like I like lying down, spreading out all my art supplies and just going for it. But like if, if you guys saw my setup for how I film these videos of like these like overhead shots, I guess, of my drawing that you would laugh so hard. Like it's just two shoe boxes and a piece of cardboard with a hole cut out in it. It's kind of hilarious. It's also sad, but very funny. Why is the light changing? Okay, that's weird. But yeah, just like look at me go with those boxes with that brown colored pencil. Oh yeah, and the materials I'm using for this, um, I'm using Prismacolor color pencils because like I'm fancy. Woo. Um, I'm using a mechanical pencil. The only mechanical pencils that will ever like get a spot in my hand or in my backpack or just anywhere in the vicinity of myself are the Bic um, mechanical pencils, like the one that I'm holding right now. That's the only one that deserves my attention and time. Um, and I'm also using just like a, a normal number two art pencil like I don't even know I, I'm not good at all these fancy like art terms or anything but it's a it's a, a wooden pencil there's an eraser on the end of it um you may see that eraser in the upper right hand corner I hardly use it but I thought it'd be cool and artsy to have next to me so I put it next to me and I hope I've achieved some kind of artistic effect with it, but probably not because I, like, I don't touch it at all. So yeah. The things I love drawing the most are probably people. Like, okay, I know this is an unpopular opinion, but like, buckle up kids, because I'm unleashing my unpopular opinion today. I love drawing hands. I don't know what it is. Like, I love drawing hands. I love drawing in weird positions, normal positions. Just, like, holding things, not holding things. They're just so fun to draw. Because they're just, like, I don't know. They're so... There's so much variation in that one little section of your body. which And I just think that's pretty cool. Maybe I should do a hand drawing tutorial. Hmm. I kind of like what I did with the hair tutorial. And also, like, I don't know, my train of thought has just derailed, and there's nothing I can do about it now, it's gone. It's lost to the wind outside my window, which is going to uproot a tree, and just kidding, that's an exaggeration. The leaves, a leaf might fall off of it. Who knows? Um, I will update you guys on the hurricane damage of a leaf falling off the tree in my front yard. We'll, we'll just have to wait and see. But yeah, I'm just like lying on my bed right now with my blanket on me. It's a weighted blanket. It's pretty cozy. On like the box and like the tag when I got this blanket it said, don't put it over your shoulders. Well, guess what friends? I'm like completely wrapped and I'm a burrito. It's wrapped over my head. Can I say I'm rebellious? Yes, I can because that's what I am. I'm breaking rules. I'm setting new standards for myself. I am rebellious. Yes, my teen years, this is the most rebellious thing I've done. I'm 17 and I have a weighted blanket on my head, keeping my little ears warm. They're not little, they're average sized ears, but they are keeping my average sized ears warm warm and I am just living my best life before I am before I turn 18 and have to fly the nest and I'll probably hit a branch on my way out of it but you know what that's okay because I am cute 
<laughs> so yeah, I didn't know what to do with a wall in the back of this picture. So I just I drew cracks all over it and I'm like, ooh, let's make this deep and like meaningful. So I started putting like missing person posters all over it. Like maybe there's people hidden in each one of these boxes. And the guy breaking out is like the only one who is making an effort to not be isolated anymore. Which I think is pretty, like, as I've said before, outside of the box I'm like, I'm cool. I have a brain on in this noggin of mine. Noggin is such a weird word. Like, nog, like, what? Who thought of this? There's probably, like, some actual explanation for it, but I don't see it right now because I'm just a simple-minded American. Just lying in their room at, like, 9.30 at night on a Thursday with a weighted blanket on their head, just living their best life and talking into their phone while watching a sped-up version of themselves draw for their AP drawing class. That's the kind of life I'm leading. And it's fantastic, if I do say so myself. That was a tangent. Like, I've never seen a tangent like that, especially, like, even in my math class, like, woo! And as you can see here, I'm just doing a couple of, like, the finishing touches. I'm gonna get into, like, the intense shadows in just a second. You're gonna... You're going to think that's pretty groovy, because I think it's pretty groovy. But, guys, we have, like, two minutes left of my drawing time. What in the world? I'm having such a great time just chilling here with you guys. It's, it's a good time. I hope you've had a good time, too. And, essentially, this is a video of me drawing something and ramble and, like, just profusely rambling on and on and on and on and hoping that I have something interesting to say and as of right now I don't think I've said anything particularly interesting but we're just gonna cross our fingers our toes the hairs on our head we're all we're just gonna cross everything and hope that it was some degree of entertaining because honestly I don't know But yeah, like, look what I, like, remember what I said about that intense shading? Like, mm, like, the light bulb that's hanging up is just making sure everything is good. And just like, mm, yeah, art is cool. Also, a quick side note. You may notice my fingernails are painted a light pink, which I think is really pretty. But in all reality, oh yeah, look at those. But in all reality, the reason why they're pink is because, um, well, I painted them black like two weeks ago so that they would like match this thing we were doing at school but um the thing the problem is the black nail polish was like all chipping and gross and stuff like right before i wanted to film this video so i decided that i would remove the nail polish for you guys so you wouldn't have to look at that but like it stained my nails yellow what the heck so what i did I just took this cute pink nail polish and I just slather, slathered it all over my over all over my fingertips. And I think it came out pretty snazzy. Well, it looks like we're getting to the end of the video. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, subscribe to my channel, like this video. Follow me on Twitter, I'm pencil underscore pies. And I just hope you had a fun time here. 